everybody and welcome back to Falcon Plays RimWorld. Now, as you can see, there's a few groundworks to be set up over here. Um, one of the complaints I've been getting recently, not really complaints, but suggestions. I guess suggestions, semi-complaints. Falcon, the raids are getting too crazy. You need more turrets. Put more turrets up. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add two more turrets now. As opposed to everybody we already have. So because you're right, I mean we have been losing a few people recently. We lost three how many is it? Wow, five people really? No, no. That's just an empty grave. Or no, no, they're not empty. They shouldn't be empty. What happened here? Are you kidding me? Aw, oh, you shitting me, man. Oh, I don't even know who's dead anymore. Jeff? Ryan? Oh no. <laughs> well, apparently that sucks. Um the graves have been reset. That's a damn shame. That's a damn shame indeed. I didn't know I did that, but it, apparently it does. Why? Why did that happen? What happened to my dead? I can't mourn them anymore. I don't even know who's in this grave. Apparently they just decompose so bad that, you know, it's just like no longer about. That's a damn shame. Either way, guys, we know who's fallen and we feel powerful about it every single day. But either way, we gotta continue on. We gotta continue living for today. I'm gonna start off also by telling you a few renames. Um, Loki is now in the base. I believe he was banned something in the YouTube comments. But he wanted his name to be uh, Loki in game, so Loki, welcome to the base. And the other two guys that we have here are going to be uh, James Brown, who just wanted to be named James this time around, so James, welcome to the colony. And the other dude is going to be Raw Awesomeness, who used to be Vladimir Putin, by the way. So now Raw Awesomeness is taking over the role of Vladimir Putin, so guys, welcome to the colony. And again, guys, we're just going through this list a lot more faster than usual now, because I've tweaked the mod a bit to kind of make it so that... A lot of sellers sell slaves now, so we'll be able to load up this colony really soon. Um, and we also have a raid also kind of waiting about over here. A huge fucking raid, as you can imagine. So, right now, what I want to do is actually get this going. And while they go ahead and build this before this raid, hopefully, is um, one of the things I really wanted to focus on. As a matter of fact, let's cancel this. This is not really important right now. I need the security to be built outside, first and foremost. While this goes on, I'm going to slow down this for a second because uh, here's something I want everybody to listen really closely to. Um, recently, I got a comment that made a lot of sense to me, which was, um, Falcon, when you start a new colony, you know, because when a new build comes out for RimWorld, more than likely it won't support old saves as they normally don't. How do you guys want to do this? Um, here's the thing we did last time, when from Alpha 1 to Alpha 2, which is this colony, we did a, a re-roll, essentially. I asked the last episode of Alpha 1 at the time. Um, guys, uh, the new Alpha builds out. Start leaving your names in this video and then in the next following videos, and I will add you to the list, and we'll rename everybody a new. However, I was asked something really interesting, too, which is, Falcon, what happens when you start a new base? Do we have to once again reapply? Or is it just going to roll over, and whoever didn't get renamed this time around, gets first presidents in the next colony. So that's really interesting. Um, we've gone by the first come, first serve basis twice now. So I'm going to leave this up to you guys. You guys are going to vote on this. Let me know in the comments how you want to play this. Do you want Do you want the list to roll over? So from this colony to the next build, do you want whoever didn't get renamed to be moved on top of the list and we'll move down from there? And then whoever isn't on the list already because they've been in the, included into the game has to reapply? Or do you just want it to be freshly off, clean list, start again, reapply again? So I'm going to leave this option up to here, you guys. I'm going to let this go through the comments. So um, Harry, don't go outside. What are you doing, Harry? Are you going to pick up a weapon? I guess that's fine. Um, I'm going to leave this up to you guys. Let me know in the comments. Do you want us to start fresh and new? A new uh, list with everybody applying again? Or do we just roll over the old list and then whoever isn't on the list anymore because you've already been indicted into this colony? has to reapply. So, again, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'm going to read the comments, vote away through the comments, and I will read them and I will tally them up. Whichever one has the more votes, I'll just go with that. Because I'm going to clean my hands of this. I don't want to get involved in politics about, like, oh, favoritism or anything like that. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you guys feel that we should just roll with um, a new list, then that's cool. If you guys want me to roll over the old list and give precedence to the people who weren't renamed this time around, that's cool too. So keep that in mind and let me know in the comments in this video for sure. Um, okay, so we're done building that, it seems. Um, this isn't getting enough power, or what? It should. No, it totally is. Alrighty. So, um, let's go ahead and highlight all of my turrets, turn them off, and turn them on, I should say, because we're going to be needing them really soon. Right? Everything is on? Yes, this one's still not on. There it is on now. Okay, good. This one isn't. Why isn't that one on? Turn your fucking ass on, man. Power needed. Connected rate. Yeah, you have more than enough power. Yeah, it's on already. Good, good. 
So now um, I should probably start uh, sending my guys off to start militarizing because this raid's about to hit us really soon. So, Harry, let me go ahead and use you as our guinea over here. Not not guinea like the, the our colonist guinea, but our person I'm going to use to kind of highlight everybody. And let me send everybody up to the middle over here and make sure everything is cool. Anybody else hanging around here? Nope. I think the only person that we didn't get to was Funky. So, Funky, if you also may let me uh, militarize you and send you. Funky's a good shot from what I remember, right? Seven. Kind of alright, so let me actually have Funky go up over here really quickly. Alrighty. Mr. Zesty's here first and foremost. Well, Zesty, I don't think you're that great of a shot, right? Nah. So let me have Zesty hang out right about there. Krebs, you are a good shot, so let me have you hang out down below. Steven. <laughs> nice try, Steven. Go back inside. Herb, kind of an alright shot, so you go back over here. Batman, amazing shot. And you go right there. I'm starting to get a hang of who's a good shot now, which is finally... Should finally be up to this point now. J, Ace, good shot, go over there. Shook, Miner, how are you shooting six? Occasionally I forget who's good and who's not, but, you know. Daniel is kind of an ass eh shot, but he's been kind of like the guy who kind of uh, helps us when people are knocked out, so. Shoobs, you go over there. Little Cholo, you go back inside. You're not fooling me. Paul the Miner, you go over right there. Jackie Boy is a good shot. He's a Marine. Let me have you hook up right about there. Swag is also a good shot. Next to Jackie boy, Harry, I think you're an A shot, so you go and hang out down right there. Lucky Jake is a good shot. And he's also lucky, so you need a little bit of luck for these raids too, so you go down over there. James the Gangster, he's an A right shot, James Brown. Him 277, good shot, up there. What else we have? Bob Balberson, you go right about there. Moldad, Shipwright, go right there. Him 277, you already got a spot. Edward Knight, good shot. Let me have you hook up right about here, I'd say. Mangina, you go right there. Bro Kick, uh, Bro Kick's gonna go right there. Key, the chef, is uh, honestly, honestly kind of a decent shot, too. You go, um, all these spots to, spoken for, apparently they are. So let me just have you hang out back with the big boys. Don't arrest anybody. Don't arrest anybody, I said. And let's see, Bro Kick is heading somewhere as well. You to Bolt, you go and hang out right about there. Guinea's a great shot from what I remember, so Guinea needs to get involved somewhere. So I'm gonna put Guinea down over here. Alrighty, Anderson Pena, Herbalist, uh, ba -ba. Huh. Let me put you back over here. Madman B is not a good shot, so you go and hang out with Little Cholo, you keep him company, or maybe even Steven. And Funky, decent shot indeed. So I need Funky in here. Um, where exactly though? Good question. Let me put him back through there. Hopefully those turrets don't blow up and kill my guys. I'm not a people person. It's also a good shot. Why are you just kind of hiding there? I'm not a people person. Let me have you hook up if you can. Let's stay back over here. You should be pretty safe. Or actually, let's just make it back over here. All right, is that it? Is that everybody? It seems to be everybody, and everybody's set up. Okay, and here comes the raid just in time. So good. Here's what we're going to find out whether the extra turrets make a difference. And um, I also need to actually start uh, expanding my bunker area a bit. Because as you can see, Jesus Christ, this raid is huge. Man. I'm not even going to make a that's what she said joke out of that one. Because god damn it, it's the, the, the proof is in the pudding as they say. Alright, so is everybody shooting? Um, Let's see. I'm not a people person. Is indeed shooting. Good. And how about everybody over here? They're shooting indeed. Alrighty, Jackie boy, get off of the sandbag and get behind it. Alright, Vera, the anime character, seems to be dead there. Sorry about that. But I'm not really too sorry about it, but you know. Okay, what do we have here? Soldier needs break, that's fine. Jackie boy, Jackie boy, 85, okay. Swag, okay, is good. And what do we have here? Krebs is stunned. Oh no. Don't tell me it's gonna end this way for Krebs. Okay, Krebs, if I can, fucking, how do I get Krebs into safety? I, I don't think I can. Krebs, if you can, please move. Please move, Krebs. Stop shooting at Krebs, you assholes. Krebs, don't get sh Oh, Krebs got shot again. He's down to five health. If Krebs takes one more shot, he is pretty much dead. Colonist needs rescue where? Jackie, boy. Jackie, I told you to... Oh, Jackie, are you dead? No, he's not dead. He's just incapacitated. <laughs> Jackie, I told you to get off of that tur that sandbag, man. Look what you did. Okay, um, this is where Steven is going to prove his worth. See if you can rescue Jackie, boy. And Krebs. Krebs, man, you need to get out of there. 
Krebs, you're not gonna make it if you Oh, Krebs died! God, I tried my best to save you, Krebs, unfortunately. It just wasn't in the cards today for you, man. Uh, Jackie Boy needs rescue. Okay, Steven, let's rescue that guy. Oh, God, they're throwing incendiary launchers now? What assholes? Guinea, how are you doing? Man, they're like, I've killed so many and they're still not retreating. It's crazy. Oh, Lord. Steven, get to re get rescue that man. Oh, God. Raw Awesome is he gonna die already after your first day here? Oh, Raw Awesome is I don't know where to get you. Are you gonna be okay if I move you behind somebody? Let me put you behind people. Maybe that'll save you a bit. And maybe Raw Awesome this is it. You gotta dash in there and hopefully survive. Soldier needs break. Mental break soon. Batman, Batman, you need to fucking relax right now. Oh, Batman got knocked out. That's a problem. No, we're not gonna... Batman's gonna die again, man. Ah, oh, shit. What do I do? What do I do? Who do I send? I'm not a people person. It's the one that's closest by. Alright, you gotta rescue Batman. I'm not a people person. You're, you have the highest priority of all time of this base right now. And that is keeping Batman from dying again. Raw Austin has died. Well... That was the quickest uh, entry and exit to the colony of all time. I'm not a people person. Why are you going through all that crowd? Oh. Okay, they're fleeing. Don't die, I'm not a people person. Don't fucking die. Somebody get that guy that's still shooting. Oh my fucking lord. Jesus. Jesus, we, we shot so much that we even took down a stone wall. That's how crazy this was. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was hectic. You know, good thing I built those extra turrets. I mean, we lost two people with the turrets that I built. Can you imagine what would have happened had I not built those? All right. It's time to really think about our defense mechanisms here now because, uh, wow, it is getting really, really fucking hectic now. Uh, little Cholo, let me amortize you. Along with Man Man B, you guys run off and do what you have to do. Raw awesomeness. Raw awesomeness and Krebs. We lost two this time. Have we ever lost two people in one raid? Have we? I'm not entirely sure if I remember correctly or not. That's heartbreaking, man. Let's make this all grabbable. Man, that is a huge raid, man. I don't even know... I mean, am I, am I to blame for this? I feel bad whenever I let anybody die. Not that I'm letting them die purposely, but... Shit, man, it's like these raids are getting just so goddamn huge. I might even have to consider putting some blast charges outside again, which I don't want to because, you know, it feels like a little bit cheap, like I'm taking the easy way out. But at this point, I don't even know. I don't even know what to do, man. Uh, let's see, so let's put this laser gun to be grabbed. Alrighty, for now, we're not going to move the dead people, our, our colonists, because uh, I don't want them to be incinerated. So let's make this uh, unavailable to be grabbed. We need to build some stone walls for what happened here. So stone wall here and here. Which is not even going to work because we don't have any stone, quite honestly. Oh, shit. We really don't have any stone, huh? That's a goddamn pisser right there. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> it's quite interesting indeed. I guess for now, we'll just basically put some metal walls in its place. And put a door right here. We'll never get the chance. Alrighty, and let's just forward this. What do we have here? Raiders? Yeah, I know about the Raiders. They came and they fucking conquered. That's what they almost did. Um, this turret back over here, I might probably benefit from moving it closer now, quite honestly. So, what I'm gonna do is deconstruct this. Or maybe even leave it there. How about we put a turret, like, fucking right next to the entrance? So it's just kind of, like, wailing away from them on the side. That might work. And that's what I'm going to do, actually. Let's actually put up a turret, uh... Damn, like, right there, perhaps? Let me line it up with this one, though. Yeah, let's do that. Put that right there. I could have probably placed it a bit closer, but I think that should probably much, pretty much do it. And let's put a sandbag in its place right there. And run a power conduit, like so. And while we're at it, let's also... Turn off our turrets to start getting some power in. Man, that sucks so bad. I'm, I apologize for awesomeness. You just barely came into the colony and you're already dead. Oh, man. It's the price of war, though. That's the price of war. <laughs> Local Boomrat's got mad. He's going to attack anybody it sees. Yeah, whatever. Bring it, Boomrat. You try it. Oh, my God. Alrighty. So, we got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of bodies to pull away. Loki's over here like, man, I'm not even sure if I want to be recruited at this point. 
Not after one, and I don't know what they're Falcon, but you know what, Loki? Go fuck yourself. Actually, I don't really mean that. You're probably not even saying anything at all. <laughs> oh, by the way, another thing I wanted to mention, I've been loving your uh, your journal entry, guys. Uh, all of you commenters that actually put, like, you know, day 70-something Falcon, you know, fucked up again. And yeah, <laughs> yada, yada. it's actually really, really fucking hilarious. I just wanted to let you guys know. I really actually enjoy those. Uh, not many people are doing it, but I think, like, uh, I think... Moldad was the first one who put one up, and then, like, Swag did one, and then Anderson Pena did one, or... No, no, I think it was Jeff who did one as well after he died, and... <laughs> I apologize, Jeff. Uh, but yeah, those are hilarious. I fucking love those. It's kind of like, oh, yada, 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 Falcon had me do this again, and now I fucking died. Uh, those are hilarious. But keep doing those if you guys can. They're, they're fucking still fun to read. Uh, I mean, it's sad, but it's, it's still fun to read. You know how it is. Uh, either way, so, um... Man, that was a scary raid. Oh, we recruited uh, Loki. Oh, I'm sorry, Steven. You could uh, unrecruit yourself now. I'm not a people person. Unrecruit. Starvation. Batman is starving. Somebody bring... Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Warden and doctoring. Uh, somebody bring Batman some food because he's starving, by the way. <laughs> I want him to die. All right, so, you know... All overall, the MVP of this episode's got to be, uh, I'm not a people person though, right? He saved Batman. Batman almost died. We got, um, Loki, by the way. Loki, where are you at? Just had you there for a second, you ran off. Loki the housemate. So, Loki, what do you excel at? Um, shooting seven, melee seven. Alright, Loki's actually a pretty, not a good worker, but he's just a good fighter. And he could do some cooking for us, too, and crafting. Okay, so, Loki, what I'm going to have you do for now is actually, let me give you some chores here. Um, it's like a three. Cooking. Let's make this like a one for you since you seem to be a pretty decent cook. Uh, constructing like a three. Three over here. Growing like a eh, two maybe. Mining like a three and hauling. Yeah, that seems good. And let me also give you a weapon, Loki, since you're a pretty decent shot as a matter of fact. Um, what do we want to give him? What do we want to give him? It's a good question. Laser gun? Not particularly. Ah, uh, ba ba. Let's go with this M4 over here. Actually, no, no. Get this Morita carbon. Carbons are usually pretty good. Alrighty. So, body's gonna be moved to uh, be burnt, and hopefully afterwards we will be able to put the other bodies to rest here. I'm still really pissed off about the fact that our. You know, I'm not gonna delete those graves though. They're there as a remembrance to what's happened. So, because of that, they're not gonna be removed. We know who's there. If not, we could always look at an old episode and be like, oh, that's who's there. Um, and let's set this up like, uh, so. Alright, so we got two graves right there. And what I will do to preserve that fact is I'm gonna make it so that nobody is placed in here. And same with this one. Uh, no bodies in that one as well. We just had a crash landing of something. I'll check it out really soon. Alright, so nobody in here. We're gonna put bodies in these two over there, though. What? Where, where are you taking... No, don't put anything in there. Not yet. No. Don't do that, swag. And nothing here either. Not just yet, guys. It is reserved for our people. <laughs> swag just dropped that body. He's like, fine, whatever. I don't give a shit. So... Look how big the raid was. The big the raid was so big that it almost fill. It's pretty much gonna fill up the entire incinerator room, and I'm gonna have to actually clean it out before I could fill it up completely again. So that's how crazy that raid was, man. And uh, detected cargo, right? That's actually really nearby, but it doesn't really matter. So for now, we do have to indeed um, burn some of those bodies. So Mr. Zesty, if you please can, let me give you hook up with a Molotov cocktail over here. We only have one Molotov cocktail left. That's pretty ridiculous, man. I should really stop. Uh, I should probably keep that Molotov cocktail in a safe place so it doesn't get uh, smelted by swag, actually. What do we have here? Solar flare has begun? Oh, joy. That's really great. So let's have you burn those bodies. And just toss that right there in the middle should do. I mean, it's completely filled up, so we'd be more than enough good for that. And one more in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Zest. Let me have you go and hook yourself up with, um, this weapon over here that Krebs wants to- Basically, Zesty is gonna live the memory of, uh, Krebs by equipping his gun and using it in his stay. Alrighty, and Zesty, you're, uh, free to relieve yourself now. 
And not relieve yourself, like, you know, literally urinate on yourself or anything like that, but... You know what I mean, Zest. Okay, so that's over here burning. Now, the problem's gonna happen is that these guys are gonna go and pick up the rest of these bodies and toss them in there in the middle of the rain, which always happens, but at least it's raining outside, so if they do catch fire, it's it's all good, I guess. Uh, no big deal. Uh, let's see. Alright, so now that we've done this, um... Have we built that extra turret yet? Yes, we have. Okay. Now, let me seal off this area, which I want it to be a little bit of a, um... Like a stockpile for our meals now that we have the option to do so. Put that right there. Alrighty, good. Let's forward time now. We are dropping into some crazy rates, uh, frames right now because uh, we have a lot going on on screen, especially with these crazy ass rates and this fire going on there. So apologize for that. Oh oh. And we just lost a. Uh, yeah, one of our condos just pretty much source circuited here, so that kind of sucks a bit. Uh, let's see, metal wall in its place. The rain should be able to take care of the fire on that though, so that's not a big concern, honestly. Let's make this metal grabbable. All this should be fixed. It's no time. All right, let's forward this up now. Swag's gonna put a body. Flag, don't catch fire, man. You're gonna catch fire, aren't you? You totally are. Hey, at least it's raining outside. Swag did the right thing. You caught on fire and you ran outside. It's kind of like, you know what? I know it's raining outside, so I should be okay. <laughs> Never mind the second and third degree burns. Those are pretty much negligible. All right, everybody good? Yeah, we're building those things again. Alright, Slag, I don't need to know what your pattern of where you're going. Slag's moving really slowly. Slag, can you, uh, you know, speed it up a bit? Oh, we, we're not moving fast because, uh... Why aren't we moving fast? Oh, I guess because my guys are catching fire, so that's usually... The game slows down when they're on fire. Look at all my guys, they're just so mad, I'll just run into the fire. Paul's over here stunned a bit. I could probably, you know, make it so these bodies aren't grabbed when it's fired, but, you know, it's not a big deal, I don't think, right? <laughs> All right, whatever. So, uh, so, you need to put Taz the escapee inside. It's, he's not like, oh, he's actually gonna catch fire right there, I'd imagine. Oh no, because no, it's raining. It's Mark. Well, it's Mark's fault because Mark is on fire. That's why he stopped. He dropped that person right there. I guess I can't really blame Mark for doing that. Okay. Is Batman gonna finish? Oh, Batman's bucking his feet again. Thanks a lot, Batman. I for a second there, I was scared that you were gonna pretty much die, and apparently Batman's just gonna run into the fire pit right there and hang out. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Batman. I'm just saying, man. Batman, can you not kill yourself today? Just run outside. Don't run inside. It's 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 tor <laughs> This is oddly you <laughs> Batman, are you okay, you maniac? Okay. Good. Seems like everybody's fine. So here's what we're gonna do. Um critical on this one. And then critical on this one as well. Human corpse, okay. And we're gonna put, um, raw awesomeness to rest right there, along with Krebs. And let's just forward this up now. Well, I can't, because somebody's on fire again, or what the hell happened this time? I'm not even entirely sure. Okay. BFD is, uh, no! BFD, you do not, you put that body down, he does not go there. This guy remains in there. No, what are you, don't! Batman, don't put him there. You're supposed to put him to rest over there. Nathan, stop it. Will you guys leave this body alone? Alright, here. You can grab that body. How about that? Are you guys happy? Happy with yourselves now? You've made me do this. Uh, you over there. So somebody put Krebs to rest properly, please. Somebody, anybody. Put him to rest. Is it gonna be Shook? Shook, don't put him in there! God damn it. Alright, so we're gonna have to do then. Hate it when you guys don't want to pay attention suddenly. Is this, uh, oh, it's important, that's why. Okay, let's make this like, uh, normal then. How about that? And Shook, if you can, is reserved by Batman. Is he reserved by Batman? Why? Are you gonna take him to the grave now? Thank you! Alrighty, there you go. Now this guy, he could go fuck himself, or also the Illuminator. Okay. So, it does seem that we're finally uh, up and running here, for the most part. And... Yeah, so we put that body in there. Good. That's exactly how I should have worked out to begin with. You guys are making it so difficult sometimes. Alrighty. 
All of our power, as you can see, is completely out, though. That is because of the solar flare for one, and we also had that power conduit that kind of jacked up on us. So we're in a tough spot in terms of power. We're going to definitely need to get our power supply back up and running. Otherwise, um, our turds won't be able to turn on, and the next race is going to pretty much end us. So <laughs> that's actually really, really terrifying to think about, considering how crazy those raids are starting to get now. So my battery is hopefully sometime soon. I mean, the solar flare is really busting my balls right now. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Okay. Um, here's what we're gonna have to do. I I'm really not too happy about this, but I don't think I have any other option at this point. Especially with my, uh... Especially with my, uh, turrets off. So, I'm gonna have to put some you know, power charges right there to kind of blow that shit up. And if we can, maybe do the same right about here. Hopefully without drawing the ire of the raiders. That's going to be the main thing to worry about here. Can I actually have BFD? Can you build stuff? No, it's being built by Guinea, though. So let's, let's, let's keep an eye on this. Make sure everything is fine. Make sure we don't draw the ire of the raiders. I don't think we will. I think we'll be fine. Okay, yeah, we should be fine. It's not going to draw the, the Raiders to us just yet, which is good because um, I don't think we're going to have enough power to actually... Uh, what is going on with our power now? Oh, it's barely starting to store energy, which makes sense because everything that happened. Shook, are you going to finish off that uh, blast charge for us? That would be really, really appreciative if you did. Okay, and he totally did. All right, good, good, good. So at least for the most part, that's going to work out right there. And how about, guys, we just call it an episode here today. Um, <laughs> we're going to leave off with another raid pending, which is scary, but... Oh, man, we lost two other people. That really sucks. Hopefully, we can keep that from happening this time around. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it to a degree. And, um, again, keep in mind what I mentioned about the, uh, colony renaming for the next build. So, um, once again, let me know in the comments how you feel, and we'll go by that. Once again, guys, I'll catch you next time.